Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that any time I share a video, you'll be the first to receive. Today our discussion will be on quotient rule. Quotient rule is also a rule in calculus and differentiation for that matter. And when do we use quotient rule? We use quotient rule when there is a fraction where we have the numerator and the denominator. When it happens like that, the rule to use is quotient rule. Thus, you let the numerator be equal to u and the denominator to be v. So in that case, our derivative, that's with respect to the independent variable x, will be v du over dx minus u dv over dx all over v squared. Thus, you let v multiply the differential of u minus you let u multiply the differential of v all over the denominator squared. Okay, so there is a simple question on the board and we are going to try to use question to, to differentiate that. So, you see there is a fraction, so we have numerator and denominator. So you let your u to be equal to the numerator 3x plus 9 and v to be equal to the denominator 2 minus x. So we differentiate the u, the u over the x, in this case will be that. And now I do v over dx. Remember the differential of the constant is zero. And the differential of the linear thing is the coefficient of the variable, so minus one. So after the equation, quotient rule will say that your dy over dx will be equal to v the u over dx minus u the v over dx all over v squared. What's our v in this case? That will be 2 minus s. What's our g over dx? 3 minus what's our u? Our u is 3x plus 9. What's our dv over dx? That's minus 1. All over your v squared, which is 2 minus s plus So we can rearrange this. We get 3, I'll bring a 3 for 2. We get this. I'll bring the minus. We multiply this minus, so it will be plus 1, 3s plus 9, all over 2 minus s plus this was our last time before our board was full up. So from here we expand. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times minus 6 will be minus 3x. 1 times this, that will be plus 3x. 1 times 9, that will be 9. All over 2 minus x or square. Now we polish it. Minus 3x plus 3x is 0. We have our 6 plus 9 all over 2 minus x plus So 6 plus 9 plus 15 all over 2 minus x plus Then our gradient function will become 15 all over 2 minus x. This becomes the gradient function of this. Okay, so there is a second example on the board which is much more difficult than the first one. Let's try to see. So the same approach will let our u to be equal to 4 minus x squared, then v will be equal to x plus 2x squared. Then we differentiate this, our d over dx, 
Remember, the differentiation of the constant is here. And the differential is to be minus 3 s squared. We draw the exponent and reduce the exponent by 1 as well. Then our dv over ds, the differential of s, remember the coefficient here is 1. So the differential of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable. Then the differential of this will be 4x. So chain rule, uh, quotient rule actually is saying that your dual by dx will be equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v squared. Yeah. So what's our v? Our v is this so x plus 2x squared times our d over ds. And what's our d over ds? That's negative 3x squared minus, what's our u? Our u is this, 4 minus x squared times our d over ds. d over ds is this 1 plus 4x all over v squared, which is x plus 2x squared also. Don't try to expand this. Let it be like that. Now we can rearrange this very well. Now minus 3x squared bracket x plus 2x squared minus our 4 minus x squared times 1 plus 4s all over our v squared, which is s plus 2s squared all squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was our last point before our board was full up and clean. So from here we try to expand. This times this will be minus 3 s squared. This times this will be minus 6 x exponent 4 minus. So we multiply 4 by 1 will be 4. 4 by 4 x that will be 16 x. Then minus s squared times 1 will be minus s squared. Minus s squared times 4 s squared. Now we minus 4 s exponent 4. All over, all over s plus 2 s squared also. So we polish it by expanding this. We have minus 3 s squared minus 6 s exponent 4. So this we open up the bracket, so we get minus 4 minus 16s plus s p plus 4s exponent 4 plus negative times this will be negative 4 and this will be negative 16s times this will be plus s p then times this will be plus 4s exponent 4 all over our s plus 2s squared also. Now we try to rearrange it. The highest power here is Q. That's grouping line case. So we have our 4s exponent 4 here minus our 6s exponent 4. And the next power is Q. So minus 3 exponent 3 plus s exponent 3. We don't have a square. Either we have a linear term. So the next one is 4. Try to count them after the, after the grouping of light and to see if they are true. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we left with 1. Thus, the linear term is here. Minus 16s before our minus 4. Very, very important. Count it to see if they are true. All over. Our s plus 2s squared all squared. 
right? We have 4s exponent 4 minus 6s exponent 4 is just minus 2 exponent 4. The minus 3 sp plus sp that will be minus 2 sp. Then we have our minus 16s minus 4 all over s plus 2s also. So this becomes our gradient function of this curve. I hope you understand. Try repeat the video continuously and you'll be able to understand. I'll put one more assignment on the board and try to solve it. Please remember to leave your solution in my comment box and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that anytime I